1894, Milton Hershey founds the Hershey Chocolate Company as a subsidiary of his caramel business. He was a very smart businessman. He noted the dramatic increase in the sale of chocolate and cacao within the confectionery industry. He made the decision in 1894 that he was going to pursue chocolate. Hershey begins to experiment with a process mastered by the Swiss, mixing milk with chocolate. The Swiss figured out how to make milk chocolate that could be produced wrapped, shipped, and stored, and not spoil for more than a year. It was a luxury product. It was very expensive. And only the Swiss were making it. But making milk chocolate that tastes delicious and won't spoil is no easy feat. Milk has a lot of water in it, and cocoa chocolate is a fat, and we all know that oil and water don't mix. And so there were some real challenges in figuring out how to make milk chocolate. He was always very hands-on and very interested in having his hands on the product and knowing what was, what was going on. In 1897, while on a sales trip to Jamestown, New York, he meets 25-year-old Catherine Sweeney. He seems to have been smitten with her very quickly. I'm sure for Kitty, which is what he called her, to be courted by a very wealthy, attractive man made her very interested in him. After a year-long courtship, Milton and Kitty marry in New York. They return to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and in 1900, Milton sells the Lancaster Caramel Company for $1 million. This windfall allows him to devote all of his time and energy to his new passion, making milk chocolate. This was a fellow who saw a good idea and pursued it with great vigor. And there was a lot of experimentation, a lot of failure again, but tremendous faith that he was in pursuit of an idea that would work. Finally, after years of trial and error, he hits upon the winning formula. He mixed milk and sugar together before he condensed the milk, and then he condensed it twice. One of the most important parts of making milk chocolate is getting rid of as much moisture as you can because it helps you produce chocolate with a better shelf life. Milton also buys less expensive cocoa beans and roasts them at a higher temperature to increase the flavor. Chocolate makers were making things on a much smaller scale than he was. And when he built his factory, it was really enormous. And he had acres of the same machine doing the same process. So he was able to really produce a lot more than other people were. You can see in the sales figures in 1900 and 1901 and 1902, his chocolate business is just taking off. By the end of 1902, net sales reached $700,000 the equivalent of $17 million today. It was a bit of a race, and the man who got to market with the best product first was going to win, and that's what he did.